God bless you. Greetings, everyone. All right, once again, come with nothing but the word of God. You got to believe the word of God. Jesus said, He that believe on me as the scripture have said. Me, you got to believe the scripture. You got to believe the scripture. Now, Jesus spoke parable, and he said why he spoke the parable. Uh huh. He spoke the parable, and hallelujah, and he was referencing the one that could not understand. He blinded them. He stopped their eyes up. God did, rather. He stopped their eyes where they couldn't see. Shut their mind up where they couldn't understand. Close their ear where they couldn't hear. And he spake the parables, hopefully to get the ones, to get their children. So hopefully they would follow in their father's footsteps that didn't obey. All right. What can separate me from the love of God? That's the question. Something have already separated you from God's love. Something have already Something can separate you from God's love, and something already have separated you from God's love, and you are separated from God's love right now. Go to Romans eight twenty eight. Let's get good understanding. Romans eight twenty eight. Here it is. Eight, uh, eight, uh, eight, uh, 30, 35. Romans 8, 35. Who shall, you see who? Do you see who? Who shall, shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who? That's a question. Sh shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, or sword, it is written with, for thy say we are killed all the day long. We are cowed and sleep for the slaughter. There be any of those things, any of those horrible things are subject to happen to us. For his sake. Nay, in all these things, in all what things? Tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, negative, peril, scorn. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him. That love the will more than conquer. For I am persuaded that neither death, life, angels, principalities, nor powers, nor three present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in. Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, back up. Watch it. To 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justified. You can't tell God. You can't go tell God. To don't have nothing to do with me. You can't tell God to send me to hell. You can't say that I'm not holy. Uh huh. You can't do that. Your charge won't stick. Your lies don't stick. Your falsely accusing don't stick. Your, your saying all manner of evil against me falsely don't stick. But here is what can separate you from God's love and what how separates you from God's love. First, you got to understand God's love. If you look at this verse, 
This is talking about, well, let's, let's, let's show God's love first. How will persecution? Shall persecution? Why the persecution? What they try to do with the persecution, trying to get you to turn your back on God, to quit preaching and quit teaching anymore in the name of Jesus, to quit preaching the truth. That's the reason for the persecution. So are they trying to, will that cause God to stop loving you? No. Wait, wait a minute. What do? What is the purpose of the persecution? The purpose of the persecution is to get you to don't teach nor preach no more in that name. That will happen to Peter and John and the apostles. And why they were stoned and killed and locked up in prison. Trying to get them to stop preaching and teaching in that name. That's what Romans 8, 38 is about. Nothing going to stop me from doing the will of God. Not, not do, doing the will of God is the love of God. Go to John, 1 John 5. You don't know what the love of God is. You already separated from the love of God. 1 John chapter 5. And verse 2. Hereby, by this we know that we love him, that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments is not grievous. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? The love of God that you keep the commandments. Believe Jesus. Keep his commandments. That's the love of God. Who going to separate you? Shall persecute. Wait a minute. That's purpose of persecution. To stop you from keeping Jesus' commandment. Go back there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go back to Romans 8. Shall tribulation. Uh, uh, tribulation is to keep you from doing his commandments. Distress, persecution, persecution is to keep you from keeping Jesus' commandments. Keep you from doing the will of the Father. He that little God must suffer, suffer persecution. That's the purpose of the persecution. And all these other things, the sword, you may get killed. That's to keep you from doing the will of God. Like they killed James with the sword. Like they stoned Stephen. With stone, like they whip and beat the apostle and locked him up in prison and locked him up in jail. That purpose is to stop you from doing the love of God with you, keeping his commandments. What shall separate you? Something have already separated you. You're not keeping his commandments. You say we see it every day. We all got sin. You ain't keeping the commandment. You separated right now from the love of God. You ain't doing the will of God. The love of God that we keep the commandment. Yes, something has separated you from the love of God. Your sin. Yes, something can separate you and something has separated you and you are already separated from the love of God. Because you're not doing his will to keep his commandments. You separated from God's love. You're not doing God's love. You're not doing the will of the Father. What separated you? Your father, the devil, your flesh, your sin. You ain't doing it, Will. All right, now you understand. God bless you. Thank you for viewing.